What's up guys, main mans, we here hoping you're all doing awesome as always and yeah amidst all of this corona panic and uh, stock markets going to hell, uh, I hope you and your family are staying as safe as possible and I wish us all the best going forward. In today's video I will be talking a little bit about how I pick up new characters, a topic a lot of people want to see me talk about now that I'm familiarizing myself with a pretty large chunk of the roster. I now have 20 characters at Tekken God Prime. So I've been historically focusing a lot on very technical characters but these days I'm going more with these characters that are more tricky and a little bit more gimmicky. So right now I'm trying to pick up Lily, a character I find pretty interesting. So we will be talking about her and I will take you guys through my step-by-step -step process. But first I want to talk a little bit about the power of unfamiliarity and how you can exploit that and really take that to your advantage. In that some characters uh, a lot of people have no familiarity with due to their low pick rate. They have very low character usage. So Lily, for example, I know that from experience when you're playing Ranked, you don't see her very often. So I know that strings, for example, I can often use to my advantage because just people just don't know how to punish or deal with it. Or very classic flow charts like 2-4 Matterhorn. Most people when they see 2-4, they block it, they want a jab. And you just Matterhorn and kill them. So classic flow charts. And um, this is stuff I've seen other people do, so I can try and apply it myself. But what I'm trying to say is that some characters are just not picked off and, and holy hell can you exploit that. Look at the character I have to the left there, my dummy. It's Gunryu. And that's the character I got uh, last now to Tekken God Prime. And it was extremely easy because no one on planet Earth basically knows the matchup except for like pro players, I dare say, you know, tournament players. And why is that? Well, why was Gunryu released in Season 3? And in Season 2, you had a lot of characters released, including Lei. They were actually never meant to be in the game. According to Harada, Vanilla Tekken 7 and then with Season 1, that was all they had planned. And then due to the commercial success of the game, we got Season 2 and 3, which added Gunryu and Lei, for example, and Ana. And it's because they were never a priority, those characters, because no one ever plays them. And when, the, when you have tricky characters like Lei and Anna and Ganryu, and no one uses them, like, Jesus Christ, the, the sky's the limit in terms of, you know, getting away with murder 24-7. So I, I just want to demonstrate uh, how powerful this can be. It's like Ganryu's back to one string. I know... I, when I picked up Ganyu, I'd never played him, but I knew that I needed to find this string. Because I know from experience, like, that string is a nightmare. So I found it, back to one, and then I basically exploited that string to victory. Because one in 20 players know how to counter it. And how, how is that? Considering I face a lot of skilled players. Well, this string... First off, I'm going to show you what it does, and then I'll show you why it's a nightmare to try and counter. Uh, back to one is safe on block, it's plus one on hit, you can do a mid-ender, um, they have to guess there 50-50 after the two first hits, basically mid-ender knocks down into guaranteed follow-up, and then you can do a low to sweep them, both of those are unsafe and the low is launch punishable, but this is where you have crazy mix-ups in that you can also do back to one into sumo stance, and here of course you have dirty dirty mix-ups to really try and catch your opponent off guard or you just do back to one on its own and then again then you'll add something or you go to sumo stance it's disgusting so what are you supposed to do to shut this down very um hard uh well i'm gonna show you what the counter is to this i'm gonna record the mid ender now, what you're supposed to do is, as soon as you see the first hit, don't sidestep right, but sidewalk left. If you sidestep left, this will clip most characters, but Lily has among the best sidesteps in the game, so she actually only has to step, take a step to the left. Huge sidestep. But the count, the universal counter for this string is block the first hit and then sidewalk left. And 
we get his back and we can apply a punish. Now, one. How many people do you think know about this? That you're supposed to stamp the second hit? A minuscule proportion of Tekken players. Now, how many out of those players who know about this do you think can apply this sidestep on reaction? And third, in an online match where there is slight delay, you know, where most of our matches are on a four bar or, God forbid, a three bar. This stuff like this, as I showed you with Anna and Nina, is so unbelievably powerful online, where not only do, does your opponent need the knowledge, but he needs a fundamental skill to, you know, apply this uh, counter, you know, recognize the string and then immediately sidewalk left, apply a punish. So stuff like this, it's just, it just destroys beginner and intermediate ranks immediately and you get high level ranks pretty much uh, for free. So I just, want, I just wanted to start by explaining that and say that when I pick up these sorts of characters these days, that's the stuff I'm looking for because from my perspective, I just kind of want Tekken God Prime as quickly as possible. So I try to find those moves where it's really minimum effort to do. Anyone can do this string, but to counter that string, you know, you have to be a very skilled player. So it's, it's really the, these maximum efficiency moves. So I tried to find stuff like that with Lily, but there's very little. Um, oh, sorry, I have to set them to guard. But again, this flowchart here is powerful. Um, so let, let's just start. Yeah, sorry, I hope that didn't eat up too much time, but I, I really wanted to explain that. So, now I'm going to do my process here and how I try to pick up Lili. Uh, so first off, uh, and like Blasted Salami starts a guide and how I like to try and start my character guides, even though it's been a long time since I since I made one, maybe I should make some of those. Uh, first thing is, what does this character specialize in? Or does the character specialize in something? Is it maybe an old round character in the type of Jin, Devil Jin, uh, Paul is pretty old round. So with Lili, you've probably noticed that evasiveness she does very well. She has a lot of moves, you know, where she crushes like crazy, evades, and in turn launches you, uh, the opponent. And evasiveness is also something she has in her movement. She has very strong movement, especially her sidestep, uh, very famously was utilized by me to counter Kudans. Kudans tries to throw you know, a laser scraper or laser cannon with uh, Devil Jin, which acts as a pseudo homing move, you know, you can't really step that. But Lili's sidestep is so strong, she can step uh, the laser scraper. And uh, as I demonstrated, she will step Ganyu's back to one, where other characters can't. Um, so evasiveness is the name of the game. So I know that, okay, that's something I have to try and utilize and abuse you know playing Lily. i have a very strong sidestep and i have strong evasive moves and so that's step one recognizing your character's strengths and then what i need then is a basic 50 50 it's the universal most basic mix up in tekken will i do a mid or will i do a low so that's uh, that's really the first thing i'm looking for and in terms of mid, you know, you have a down forward one with Lily. It has a very high hitbox though, uh, so it's very easily crushed, um, unfortunately. Uh, but down forward three, on the other hand, is simply excellent. It's a mid. Sorry, it's plus eight on hit, and plus three on block. And you know what? On counter hit, it launches. So this move is excellent, it's, it's, it's really excellent. So I'll use that for my mid, and if I want something bigger, you know, I have down for two to launch, if I want to take a risk. Uh, and then for low, down three, I found, oh, long range, low poke, plus one. You see how, how long the range is on this? And, and you'll no notice pretty soon that she does well with range, this character. And this is also another mid I can use. Super long range, as you can see, mid launcher. So already with these, uh, uh, I have a pretty solid mid package, I would say. Um, and lows down free, and then if I want to take a risk, it's very important to have a knockdown low 
to get people who block a lot to get very afraid uh, of of not docking. You want to force them to duck every once in a while so you can get those mids. And this doesn't hurt very much. So then I go with this. Down back 3 plus 4. It's, it's a knockdown low. Uh, it's really nice. And I found that on counter hit. You can get an additional hit. In certain circumstances, it's a little bit inconsistent. Uh, it can even launch the opponent. I don't know a specific combo there, but uh, that's very nice. Uh, so that's my 50-50. I also have a Snake Edge, which is a very nice cheese move with certain characters, especially Anna. Everyone who has an unconventional Snake Edge, it's really good. I like Gunryu's because it's an arm. Most people don't Snake Edge with their arm, so this catches a lot of people off guard, and people don't know the matchup. But Lily's... Uh, oh, sorry. But Lily's Snake Edge comes out one frame slower than Brian's. Uh, it's 30, Brian's is 29. But it has the most telegraphed Snake Edge animation in the game, in my opinion. Uh, because, as you can see, she stays... This is what the typical Snake Edge looks like. They go down very deep, uh, hug the ground, and they trail their leg behind them. Toward, toward, uh, away from the opponent and then towards the opponent. And as you can see with Lily, it starts off in slow motion. She sticks in that very telegraphed pose for a long time. And then eventually her leg very quickly sweeps. So this is basically the most obvious. I'm going to snake edge you now. And then 30 frames later it comes out. So this is blocked all the time. And it is pretty much useless I would say. The range is even pretty lackluster as you can see. So I like to cheese with snake edges when I can. With Anna it was almost guaranteed. It's the best snake edge in the game. Gun use was very helpful as well. Uh, but this one is just rubbish. So I do not use it. Um, uh, and then we have... Uh, that's for 50-50. And then I look at basic launchers. And you have to learn a combo. We need to know a combo. So, basic launchers, down for 2 is 16 frames. Not uncommon with female gimmicky characters that they have a 16 frame down for 2, which is also often unsafe. Uh, Anna, 16 frame. Zafina, 16 frame. Uh, but, for if we need a 15 frame launcher, it's kind of critical. Some characters don't have that, but blam, up for 3. We have a pretty long range hop kick with, uh, with Lily. So that's our 15 frame launcher. Uh, and of course we need to know a combo. I, I just do I just found this combo. I didn't even ask anyone about a combo. I just started doing shit like this. I, I know this is probably not optimal, but it gets the job done. I do that. And uh, so we'll see if I look into other combos, but you need to know the combos. Down for three, I to find the there's a specific combo for this, and then you need the wall combo while sending one to one plus two. You need that stuff. Have to find it. And uh, so that's the next thing I do. And then I look at punishment. Uh, critical is standing 10 frame, 12 frame, 15 frame. Uh, Lily has really good punishment. Two fours or 10 frame punish. Look at that shit. 28 damage, knockdown, wall splat. Excellent. Um, and, oh shit. And it's safe on um, block at minus two. Most people don't duck it. For 12 frame, and this is where I found that she has, I don't know if this is the best 12 frame punish in the game, but it, to be honest, I feel like it could be. 32 damage, knockdown, and just look at the range. I honestly find this move to be absurd. It's absurd in range. So it's super strong. And it's even high mid, it's not high high. But of course on block, minus 15, launch punishable. But most, no one launches it because no one knows uh, about that. So I've been abusing this at the wall. You know, they block the first hit and they eat the second hit. Uh, so, well, oh sorry, and then 15 frame, again, we have up forward 3, hop kick. And then for while standing, 11 is while standing 4, 
Uh, and then 15, we can hop kick. I actually don't know what we have in between. I think this is a natural combo while sending one, two, 13 frames. Then you can try and add a sweep to be a little bit gimmicky. I think it's highly delayable. Yeah, which is cool. Can't catch people off guard. But so that's basic punishment. Um, and for whiff punish, down for two does the job. Uh, and then I look at, this is very important, like tricks and flowcharts. So these are gimmicks. Uh, again, I asked Lily players on my chat, Twitch chat, and they said 2-4, fantastic. And that almost works all the time. People block 2-4, and then they try and jab punish, or do a jab, and pff, Matterhorn beats them every time. Matterhorn is just a super strong um, um, turn-stealing move, like Devil Jin's up 4. It just crushes everything. And launches sky high, and you gotta know, again, the appropriate combo. Um, I think we can get the angle correct here. Oh, wait, wait. It's, it's a cool combo. Lots of damage. There we go. Uh, but yeah, that's really nice. Uh, but in terms of tricks, that's good stuff. That's a good flow chart. Uh, her back turn stuff and mix ups is strong. Knockdown sweep. Uh, this will launch, you know, that mid. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I think I think it's safe on block actually. Um, oh, it's minus ten. Uh, no one punishes it. Uh, and yeah, so the back turn stuff is very good. Most people eat the second hit on this string, low mid. Um, stuff like this, shenanigans. I'll do this into back turn. Then I play a mix up. Or I'll add the, the follow-up. People eat that a lot. Um, the, the, the Snake Edge was not as powerful as I wanted to. Um, but yeah, it's, it's important to find gimmicks. And I find that Lily, you have the evasive tools, but overall, she's not as gimmicky as uh, Lei, Ganryu, and Ana, in my opinion. You need a more straightforward mix-up based approach and utilizing her great spacing. So I was a little bit disappointed. I wanted her to be more gimmicky and turns out she's not for just from playing her. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm only at, I'm gonna, I've only played her once, one day. Uh, you need to find the command throw to stress uh, throws. Downford one plus two is the command throw with Lily because default throws are so easy to break. And this is the only command throw she has. Uh, so obviously if your character has more command throws, abuse them all. And then we need a homing move, and here we have core circle 3-4, uh, which is high. Ford 3 is a mid homing, does not have optimal range though. This has way more range. And core circle 4-2 also is a homing, which has a follow-up, which seems quite delayable. Yeah, very delayable. So here you can play around with timing, which is nice. And of course, frames. If I want frame advantage, so important. What moves give us frames so we can mindlessly pressure? Again, down for three. So strong on block, plus three. And the homing move I've just sh I just showed you, core circle, four, uh, three plus four. Excellent, look at the frames. Plus six. Plus 17 on the hit. Again, it's high, high, but no one ducks it. Everyone thinks it's mid. No one ducks this. So again, plus say I'll just do this all day long. And then I'll pressure with other tools, and then we'll do it again. Mid. You can frame lock down pretty nicely, actually. So again, you, the, the, this is the stuff you need to know. And again, I just wanted to add with gimmicks with Lily. Oh my god, how people eat this. We don't know the matchup. Mid low. Mid low. And I was fighting against an Asuka who just threw parries all the time. Again, the, your, your, the typical counter or parry in Tekken does not parry knees. So she would just eat it all the time. Um, so uh, this is these are actually all the steps I go through when I pick up a character. 
uh, and try to do it as quickly as possible. So I hope this was enlightening. And if, it, if there's any anything else I can explain to you on this topic or any other topic, just let me know in the comment section. I do read them once in a while. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and ha have I hope you have a nice day.